guys, it's Christy here for Sunny Studio Stamps, and today I'm going to be making a card using Farm Fresh Harvest Mice and just a little leaf from Bountiful Autumn. So I've stamped my images out on Nina Solar White cardstock, and I'm going to be coloring with my Copic markers. And I've grabbed a piece of paper from the Colorful Autumn 6x6 pad because I want to use this on my card today and I want to color my images to match. So I'm starting with my Scarecrow and for him I'm using E51, E53, and E55. I laid in some shadow with that E55 under his hat brim and hairline and along the sides of his face and then blend that out with the E53 and the E51 and then I'll use the E55 and the E57 to color in his nose and later I will also color in the little pole with those shades. I added back in the E53 and I'm going to use this combo to color in his hat. So under the hat brim I put the shadows closest to his head and then on the brim and on the top part I'm going to put the shadows on the outside edge with that uh, E57 and then blend that out with the E55. On the underside I'm just using those two shades and then for the brim and the top part I'm going to use that E55 as my mid-tone and I will save some room for that highlight shade, the E53. So the combo that I used on his face was to match the bottom part of the acorn on the pattern paper and also that lighter brown leaf. And then the combo that I used on his hat and his nose was to match the top of the acorn. Next I'm moving on to his shirt and I'm going to use YG23 YG25 and YG67 and I know this is a little bit of an odd combo but I'm trying to get something similar to the leaf on the pattern paper so this was my best uh, combo that I could come up with to get something similar. So I used that YG67 as my darkest and laid a little shadow in on the underside of his sleeves and a little bit to accentuate the cuff and the inner part between the suspenders there and then blended up with the YG25 and filled in with the YG23. And I'm also going to use these shades to color in the tops of the three pumpkins. So just a little quick shading with each of those marker colors to fit all of those in there. Then I'm moving on to my yellow combo and I'm going to use these to color in his straw. So I'm starting with the Y32 on this one because I wanted to be careful not to have the dark overpower the light too much. So I'm actually coloring lightest to darkest. So now I'm taking that Y35 and adding a few little flicks of color in there. Not necessarily hitting every strand, but just whatever looks right. And then also doing that with the Y38, which is just going to help those other colors pop by adding that bit of contrast. And then I'm also going to use this combo for all three of the leaves. I wanted something on the card to represent the yellow in that pattern paper, so I decided to have all three of the leaves do that, and I just kept my darkest concentrated in the center and my highlight on the outside edges. For his jeans, I wanted to match the blue of the background of the pattern paper. Um, as close as possible. It's going to be a little bit darker, but just be in a similar tone. I have another blue combo that I really love for jeans, but it's a lot more grayed out. This one is definitely going to be much brighter. So I'm using B34, B37, and B39, and laying in those shadows with the B39 first, and then I'm going to begin to pull that color out with the B37. I want to make sure to catch the edge of that B39 and pull that out into the lighter areas so I get a nice smooth transition, especially since these are dark shades and there's a bit of a difference between them. And then I'm going to fill in all of the space that remains with that B34, just doing little circular motions to break up any harsh lines and get a nice smooth blend. 
I'll grab the YR23 to color in the little buttons on his jean overalls. And then I'm moving on to my crows and I'm going to use C3, C5, and C7 for them. So I prefer to use darker grays rather than black because I just think there's more dynamics there. The black can be so harsh and just covers all of the stamped lines as well. So the darker grays just allow your images to come to life a little bit more. I did go one step up for their beaks with the C7 and C9. Just a little light shadow on the bottom and the lighter shade on top. And my last color combo is going to be YR12, YR14, and YR18. And now I'm trying to match the orange leaves on the pattern paper. So I'm going to color in his hat band using the darkest shade on the outside edges and blending toward the highlight in the center. And then when I move on to the pumpkins, I'm going to pull that darkest color up from the bottom. So I will use that YR18 and went almost halfway up and then brought the YR14 uh, about two thirds of the way up and then saved about a third at the top for that YR12. And um, it wasn't quite the right shade. It needed just a bit more brightness to it. So I grabbed the YR04 and just went over the tops of all of those images. And then I used a black jelly roll marker to go over the eyes of the crows and a white jelly roll marker to go over the eyes of the scarecrow. And then I trimmed these images out with the matching dies. For my pattern paper, I'm going to use a pale orange sunburst from the classic sunburst 6x6 and I'll be trimming that down with a stitched arch. And then my other two sheets are from the colorful autumn 6x6 and I will be trimming those down with the outer die from the Frilly Frames Quatrefoil. So I've also die cut a piece of a craft card stock using that stitched arch. And I'm going to stamp a sentiment at the bottom of that. I'm using the one that says Hello Autumn from the Harvest Mice stamp set. And I stamp that using Lawn Fawn Walnut Ink. And then I'm going to insert my card base in my Misty. I trimmed down a piece of Lawn Fawn canned pumpkin cardstock and I'm stamping in pumpkin spice ink. And I'm going to add the sentiment that says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes and then two more of those sweet little pumpkins all from Harvest Mice. So now I'm ready to put together my focal panel and I'm going to take an extra piece of white cardstock that I die cut with the stitched arch just to add is a backer to make that um, pattern paper just a little bit more sturdy since I want to pop that up on my card later on. I'm going to add my craft card stock down to the bottom so that can serve as my ground, my field there. And then I'm going to add my scarecrow uh, right down at the top of that. And then below him, I'm going to add the three little pumpkins. So I'll add the largest one over on the left hand side and then I'll take the medium one and that one's going to go on the right. And then I've got that tiny little pumpkin which I love so much I just think it's so cute. And I'm going to add that one over on the left um, next to the larger pumpkin. I'll add one of the crows sitting on the medium pumpkin and another one on the scarecrow's arm. And then the third one that's kind of turning his head back to look in the other direction, I'm going to stick that one right up on his hat. And then I've got those three leaves that I'm going to add as a nice bright sunny pop of color. I'm going to tuck one behind the large pumpkin and then one um, over on the right next to the medium pumpkin. And then I'll have one kind of in between those two on the ground. And you can see how much I enjoy having things in groups of threes. I just think it's so pleasing to the eye. I'm ready to move on to assembling my card now. So I've got my card base and my two pieces of pattern paper trimmed down. And I'm going to adhere the larger one to the front of the card. 
and I'll make sure that that is lined up nice and straight with the edges of the card base and then press that down into place and then I'll take the orange crisscross pattern and I'm going to center that across the middle of the card and then I have my um, focal panel which I have added some foam tape to the back of so it gives it a little bit of lift and I am going to pop that down over on the right hand side of the card. And that is going to complete my card for today. I'll lift that up so you can see all the detail and give you another peek at the inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys down there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.